It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We are in the gravity station in Cardiff and we are doing a review of Newton's Law at 6.8% ABV. Mr. Don Jeffrey, brewer of all his life, he's been brewing all his life, he's going to be pouring this one out. So we'll that one there, so if we just get the camera in on this pour, see what we get. I love the taps, love that style. Very industrial, it's very Cardiff. Cardiff is an industrial city, um, big industry, and this just kind of smacks that, doesn't it? It smacks industry in you when you just got a tap of beer. Well, there we go. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Really. So, what we have done, that's 20%. The first thing is, the clarity. Mm. You can see straight through there to the bar top and it is exceptional clarity. Yeah, absolutely. That's the first thing. For a 6.8% it's high in alcohol. Alcohol has an effect of uh, head negative which is why you can appreciate there may not be a thick creamy form yeah. on there <coughs> yeah. as with other, other beers. So that's a perfectly acceptable. And we are looking now at a beer which is chestnut. Well, this is a colour which really reminds you of lots of antiqueness, robustness. Rock that beer, darling. Rock it. Look at the tiny bubbles. Well, I can, look at that. You rock it, baby. I'm just going to stay where I am at the moment. Tiny uh, bubbles. The smaller the bubble, the better the beer. That suggests it, as you can see in there, there is a degree of carbonation on there which you'd normally associate with cast condition beer, which it is, which is about 0.91 volumes, which is about 2 grams per litre for, for the, uh, the beer professionals out there, beer. the home brewers. And because this is uh, traditional cast condition beer, we can still see the condition in there. Which yeah, is good. Absolutely. Aroma. Try the aroma. Ooh. It's vinous. Very it's vinous. vinous quality of the beer, and that's a good quality for me. I like it. Port like. Mm. Sherry like. Mm. Yeah. Which is typical of a, um, a beer of this ABV. Loads of fruits. Kind of mysterious forest fruits. And because it's 6.8 ABV, it's the sort of beer that you, like Belgian beers, you need to treat with respect. Yeah. It's not necking beer, it's uh, a beer that you need to associate with a nice evening where you're tasting the beer and it is uh, um, full of flavour, absolutely bursting with flavour. So we haven't even tasted it yet. Let's dive in, let's get the taste. I have an advantage over you. Mm, go on. I've tried this before mm. and it's not a regular issue and I was very disappointed the week after when it wasn't available anymore. This is a very special brew which I hope develops further. It does remind me of Belgian beans in some respect which start off at 6.5% yeah. and it's full of flavour full of fruit. Mm. What are your comments? Big fruity beer. Big, big fruity beer. It's like, a, it's like a sherbet bomb going off in my mouth. You know them sherbet sweets you get, they kind of explode on the tongue. You get that aspect of it. Not for many years. But mm. Again, I like that dryness of the beer that the, the wine beers seem to have. I like that crisp, almost dry white wine taste of the beer. If you go back to the port thing for a moment, mm. just enlighten it yeah. to a, a glass of port, because there's a lot of alcohol in there, there's a lot of very heavy woody flavours coming yeah. out there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very robust. It's not the sort of thing you want to uh, uh, gallons of, yeah. treat it with respect. It's, a it's an end, end of the, of the night. Yeah. yeah, we said it at the same time. It's an end of the evening. It's when you've been, you've had a good day on the beer and you just want something just to finish off your night. You don't want to go for the top shelf. Um, you want to stick to the beer, so this is a little stronger. 
at 6.8% ABV. So it just kind of finishes your night. It gives you that nice ending quality to your evening. Talking about ending, there is a lingering effect there. I don't know where you've noticed it there. There is a, a lingering bitterness, but there's a lingering pepperiness mm. as well. Now, not for me to say whether it's in likened to chili plum porter at all, which has a very nice lingering chili effect on this, mm -hmm. but there is definitely a peppery uh, effect at the back of the throat here, which mm. lingers on well after you've consumed your mouthful. Yeah. Which is very, very interesting. Nice and I'd, I'd like to talk about a bit more of detail on this, which I, I don't know about at all. Yeah. Nice spiciness, nice finish. Um, for me, I'm going to give this an eight and a half out of ten. I think I would go beyond that. I would say nine out of ten. Out of yeah. Ten. Very similar ratings. Very good beer. This is Newton's Law by the Wine Brewery. Six point eight percent ABV. Thanks for joining me, Mr. Don Jeffrey. Get you while you can while stocks last. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be running out soon. But I'm sure Mrs. Suhey will be will be brewing this again soon. Cheers. Cheers, thank you very much.